Mm-hmm. Yeehaw, D-Load Week, baby. <laughs> I just got some random look. I don't care. Um, so, it is D-Load Week. Funnily enough, though, because I wasn't doing all the accessory Cali and everything else, I started to feel more recovered last week already. So by Saturday, I was like, ooh, okay, like, you know, I'm, I'm starting to feel a little bit more human. And I've come in today and I'm like, yeah, let's go, baby. And then I'm like, oh, I can't. It's knee load week, baby. So I'm just, I'm, I'm being good and I'm doing what I should do which is lightweight um and i'm just i'm just like okay 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 i really want to like ram shit up and i really want to fucking go but i'm gonna like not go because i know that this this process of recovery is so important and it also shows me that all the cali and all the accessory stuff that i'm doing is actually a lot more taxing than i had I, I feel like I'm not aware of just how taxing it is because eliminating it last week to focus on just getting through the strength movements, I was literally recovering even though I was going heavy, if that makes sense. So I was like pushing myself with the strength, but because I wasn't doing the Cali, I wasn't frying my, my body as much. I wasn't doing as much and I'm still cycling here and back. So it shows me just how taxing the Cali really is. And I think it's because you're holding it for so little period of time. It's like, you know, like a three second lever or a, a fucking two second planche hold, you know, tuck. It's not like I'm doing a lot or at least mentally for me, I'm like, no, I'm not doing that much. But apparently my body's like, yeah, you are, you bitch. You, you're doing a fuckload. So, wow, I swear a lot, don't I? Anyway, I don't care. Um, so apparently, like, I wasn't even aware of how accumulatively taxing all that Cali work was. And I can definitely feel coming in today, or maybe it's just the Cocoa Pops, that I'm feeling good. I'm really feeling good and I'm like amped up and I'm like ready to go and I can't because it's deload week, but it's okay. We're going to embrace deload week and I'm going to do a little bit more Cali accessory work and just focus on a few things and I'm just excited. I'm just excited. So because it's deload week, we're doing four of four at 50% of my one rep max. Um, and I'm just slowing everything down, focusing on the movement patterns, focusing on range of motion, focusing on activating all the correct muscle fibers so that everything is firing as effectively as possible so that when I start going heavy again last next week, um, I've got all of that motor neuron functions kind of activated, knowing exactly what I'm doing, getting my back position right, tightening my back, um, getting the drive out of the bottom of the hole. So I'm going slowly down, pausing at the bottom, and then I'm really firing up so that I'm as geared up for next week as possible. I'm really in the right positions so that next week I can start maximizing everything again. And I've got you know, a goal and I'm, I'm ready to go. So this week is just embracing the rest, embracing the recovery. And that's what we're doing, baby. Right. So four or four, nice and slow and controlled, full range of motion. Let's go. So I wasn't really focused on the first one, I'll admit, and I went a bit too slow down. Um, yeah, so I definitely <laughs> just 
we mustn't rush into things. I need to make sure that I get that nice, slow, negative pausing at the bottom and then using my glutes, my hamstrings, everything to fire me out of the hole. Because obviously that's the hard part for me when it comes to the squats is getting back up. I think that's probably hard for everyone. Um, but I really want to focus on that acceleration out of the bottom of the hole. And by not using the bounce, I'm having to use my hamstrings and my glutes more to activate that firing out of the hole. So that's what I'm focusing on today because obviously when I add in the knee sleeves and everything else, I've got that bounce reflex that will assist me, but I need to be able to activate everything independently so that I'm not relying on the knee sleeves as much. I can do it myself and really just strengthening that. So I'm doing four of four and really just focusing on the negative time and attention. And it's so light, admittedly, that rest periods are like non-existent. Like usually when I'm, I'm doing my power lifting, especially on a Monday where I'm doing heavy, heavy sets and then um, raw and then I'm adding in the knee sleeves. I mean, I can be squatting for an hour and a half easy. I mean, that's how time consuming it is. So today is going to fly by. I've got, I'm, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do today. Cause like I've been here for 20 minutes and I'm, I've got one set left. So I'm doing four of four, um, on 50% as I mentioned. So this is, this is 80 kilograms. I'm working off like a one rep max of like 160. So this is 80, 80 kilograms, 50% of my very one rep max. Uh, and I've got one set left and then I'm done and then I'm moving on to dips and I'm like, Oh, okay. Is that it? That's it, baby. That's it. <laughs> like, as, as you can see, like I'm ready to go for my last set. And usually I'm like, okay, bye bye. I will see you in a bit because I need to rest for like half an hour. But with this one, I'm like ready to go. Ready to go, baby. Ready to go. Okay. So last set, really going to focus, make sure that my feet are flat. And the one thing that I was pointing out to me is like, well, you know, feet are flat. Of course that your feet are flat. What are you talking about? So when I mean my feet are flat is you not like weight distribution is not going onto your toes. That's what you don't want. You want your feet to be flat and planted as in your weight is almost like back into your heels, mid foot. And when you're going down, okay, and this is very important and this will help with your knee health. You do not want to squat that way, okay? And that's when they say knees mustn't go over toes. Of course your knees are going to go over toes because it is a natural range of motion, but your knees mustn't go over toes as in you're squatting knees forward okay so your bum mustn't go this way and your knees are going forward that is really unhealthy in just in terms of overall mobility but it will fuck up your knees like so what i'm saying is you want to kick out your bum okay and you want to drive your bum back as you go down, okay, and as you can see, my knees are not tracking forward. You do not want to squat where you're tracking forward. You want to bump back and go that way with your squat, okay? That is an ideal squat. You do not want to go that way. So you will often see when I'm about to squat, you'll see I kick out my bum and then I drive down, okay, and that, that kicking out of the bum just initiates the correct movement pat pattern so that I'm making sure that I am ideally using as much activation from my glutes, my hamstrings, my quads, everything is firing as effectively as they can by bum back and then going, okay, so that is very important, very crucial for the, the mechanical movement of your squat. So, that's what I mean by flat feet. The flat feet bum back will engage the correct movement path for your squat. You do not want knees forward, you want bum back, okay? Right, last set. So tight back, pull the bar into your back. You see my bum goes back and then I go down. Mm -hmm. 
Sweet. Yeehaw, baby. So that's four sets of four. Nice and easy. So I'm going to move on to my dips and then my muscle ups. I'm going to take it from there. But nice and easy today. Just refreshing the body and get everything loosey goosey so that next week we can go heavy and we can go strong because it's all about making gains. Yeah. And we're moving on. I feel like I'm just like flying through this workout. I'm just like, I'm going to be done in like an hour and then I'll be like, what am I going to do now? I'm just going so fast. And it's probably because it's so light that I can just like move, 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 move. Um, yeah. So this is just like, like, like I feel like I'm high on caffeine because I'm just like, go, 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 go. I've got so much energy. And because it's so lightweight, I'm just like, oh, I can still go and I can still go. It's just like amazing. I've got so much energy. Um, yeah, feels like I'm fucking high. Anyway, right. So I am <laughs> doing dips with a pause uh, at 50%, four by four. So I have got uh, 45 kilograms and I am supersetting that with shrugs, but working my grip. So this is the interesting part. So I'm doing my shrugs each when I'm doing the single arm, I'm using three fingers. And when I do both arms, I'm using two fingers on each hand. And I must say my forearms are feeling it. So that was one thing that I wanted to add in after I discovered like how much more difficult the single arm, the less fingers were, uh, and it's a nice way for me to bring it into my training without having to add in additional elements. Because when I do all my Cali, it just takes me forever. So when I can change something or incorporate into my existing training, it makes me happy in my heart. Right. So first of all, I've got my four reps with the pause on the dips. So I like to, so tips I learned was obviously put the box higher so that the weight doesn't move. You literally put the weight into position and then you just step. Again, focusing on nice controlled movement with a nice pause at the bottom and activating the, the muscles. I really feel it in my chest um, as I dip it back up. So that is one thing. Oof. Right. So then I'm supersetting this with a very interesting move um, because I'm feeling it in my forearms like crazy. So three fingers, and obviously most people wouldn't use three fingers. You would just use your entire arm, entire hand, the middle arm, but however many fingers you can use, and this will really help strengthen your grip. So three fingers. And then three fingers with the other hand. So I'm doing fly rest with the shrug. And then two fingers together. <laughs> Oh. No, good. <laughs> Sweet. So that is my training 
for today. And I'm, I'm, as I say, I'm just like firing through it, but I, wow, like definitely the three fingers and the two fingers I'm feeling in my forearms is like spicy. Definitely gonna strengthen these babies, get them even stronger. Yeah.